The next topic that we have to see is how to draw the predictive passing table. So in predictive passing table we are having rows and column where in each row we are going to write down the non-terminals and in columns we are going to write down the terminals. Now whatever the first that will be entered directly. If in first we are having epsilon production then for that we will see the follow production and whatever the follow we will enter that epsilon in that entries. If your column or a single cell is having multiple entry then the given grammar is not LL1. If your any cell is having multiple entries then your grammar is not LL1. Now let us see if there is some blank then it is called as an error. There are some blank cells which don't have any entries that is called as an error. Okay. Now let us see the same example that has been asked in grade 2012. They have given a grammar, it is epsilon, and they have given a partially drawn LL1 table. And they asked you to complete the remaining fields that is E1, E2, and E3. Now see, as we see, the first of S is equal to this and this. So directly I can say that E1 and E2 is having one production like a a b and b a b now what about epsilon for epsilon i have to see the fall of capital s the fall of capital s as it is a start symbol is dollar in previous slide or still we are seeing the fall of capital s dollar also fall of s is equals to fall of a and fall of s is equals to fall of b so fall of b is nothing so fall of b is equals to fall of s but fall of A is small a and small b. So I have to include the fall of A also. So the fall of capital S is dollar A and B. So the production added over here is S tends to epsilon and S tends to epsilon. Next the remaining entry is E3. In E3 we will see the production for B. The B tends to S will be inserted in A, B, so same production that is we are having a single production for B so same production will be inserted in E3 also so these are the three entries for your E1, E2 and E3 so whatever the option that is having these entries that is for E1 these two entries E2 these two entry and for E3 this one entry is a correct answer sometimes they will just ask you whether the given grammar is LL1 or not now as I said, if your grammar is having multiple entries in a single cell, then the given grammar is not LL1. Now what we will do, we will apply a shortcut method for the same grammar to decide whether the given grammar is LL1 or not. So now let us take the same example that is A tends to capital AB or B tends to A, A, B or Epsilon. A tends to S and B tends to S. Now there are some rules that will decide whether the given grammar is LL1 or not. The first rule says that if the given grammar has a single production on a right hand side then the grammar is directly LL1. If all the production has a form this, then the given grammar is LL1. There is no need to draw the parsing table and find the first and follow to decide whether the given grammar is LL1 or not. If it is a unit productions, then the given grammar is LL1 grammar. Second says that if your grammar is not having any epsilon production, for example, a grammar is in the form of A tends to alpha 1 or alpha 2, then first of alpha 1 intersection first of alpha 2 should be equals to 5. If it is equals to 5, then the given grammar is LL1. Now the third rule says that if your production is having epsilon production, now this case is what we are looking if our production is having epsilon production, then the first of alpha intersection follow of A should be equals to 5. Then and then only we can say that the grammar is LL1. Now let us apply this rule. We want to calculate the first of this. The first of this whole term is small a 
and the first of the second term is small p first of this term and first of this term so this is our alpha 1 this is our alpha 2 if i see the intersection of this it is phi so this is satisfied now we have to check it for a epsilon for epsilon we need a fall of capital s also so fall of capital s says that the as s is a star symbol we are having dollar sign then the fall of s is equals to fall of a so fall of a is small a and small b now if we see the intersection of follow and the first it is not phi because we are having a element a as a common and what we have said that first of alpha this is our alpha and intersection with fall of a fall of a nothing but fall of s should be phi but if we take the intersection of this it is not equals to phi because it is equals to small a so as it is equals to small a and not phi the given grammar is not ll1 this we can see from that also that as there are multiple entries and single cell the given grammar is not ll1 or we can apply this shortcut method there are just three rules if grammar is in the form of unit production then the given grammar is directly ll1 if grammar is in the form of this one that is there is no epsilon production then the first of alpha intersection first of alpha 2 should be phi and if we are having an epsilon production then the first of alpha intersection follow of a should be equals to phi then and then only we can say the given grammar is ll1 if none of the condition has been <laughs> if none of the condition has been satisfied then the given grammar is not ll1